Hello again everyone, I'm Daniel the Cross Culture Nerd with another Loyong Spotlight video for you today. Um, I mentioned in a preview a couple weeks ago that the peonies in Loyong were blooming and today we're going to go to one of the most well-known parks in town, the Loyang Guohuayuan or the uh, Loyang National Flower Garden and check them out. I took the liberty of parking um, about half a block away from the entrance because it's pretty busy here. I mentioned before the travel, the big travel rush in Loyang is not in October. We get a decent bit of tourists here in October as well, but the big rush is in April when all the peonies are blooming. And so, uh, yeah, we're gonna, like, you're gonna see a lot of these crowds pretty soon. So, uh, um, let's, uh, let's go check it out. All right, got a series of storefronts leading up to the park right there. You see a bus just chilling there. Quite a few other buses way up in the distance. Some of those are city buses, some of them are tourism buses, some are buses from other towns. Honestly, my daughter would love one of those. Now reach the walls of this portion. This park's quite beautiful on its own, but it's when the peonies come out that it gets really prominent. Beautiful weather. Perfect day for this. This is my first time in this part of the city in a, a while. I don't come up on Lowman Road very often now. I miss it. I get good times up here. Lost street vendors selling random merch to the tourists. Really strong wind. Thought I was gonna, gonna lose my hat a time or two when I was on the moped coming. And here we got the touristy crowds, the traffic. Okay, um, tickets are over there. One thing I should say, this is nowhere close to the worst traffic has been. But I will say, if you're driving through this area in April, you do not want to be in a four-wheeled vehicle. It will take you forever. So I'm going to go get a ticket, and I'll pick up 
inside the park. Okay, so uh, individual tickets now are done through an app. So I had to scan a code and enter some information, but yay, now I'm in. There's engines looking outward. So uh, let's go on inside. Some spots over that way. Okay, so um, basically, um, this park stretches what two and a half kilometers um, from the uh, like between Longman Road and um, uh, the road by the. Uh, Peony Bridge, Mudem Bridge. Uh, it's where uh, Jeff Alu changes its name when it comes into the new district. Uh, anyway, it starts between the uh, Mudem Bridge and the uh, Longman Bridge. Or Dingling Bridge, sorry. And um, it's got two major paths. Uh, Kind of going in an ellipse and we're gonna hang a right and then just go around the edge um, along the riverside up till we get to the other gates and then we'll take the other path back going a nice little circle have a nice brisk walk As you can see we got all these gorgeous flowers Many, many different colors. Warning people, keep off the flowers. Now, most of the time, a lot of these stands you're going to see standing around um, aren't up. Just because most months out of the year, traffic's not high enough to warrant them. Okay, we'll try to make this the point where we circle back around. Hmm. I like this color. Oh, by the way, there's a pizza hut here. If anyone's hungry for Western food, there's a Pizza Hut somewhere around Pichon Co. But we're not going that way. Well, actually, we can go this way just so we can see more of the garden. There's going to be weaving in and out here. All right, here are some better blooms. Better than the other ones, anyway. These have been out for a while.
This here is a butterfly garden. And it doesn't look terribly crazy in there. Let's uh, take a quick look around. Well, looking for the butterflies. Pretty flowers around here. Huh. Well, saw a couple on the mesh. I don't know if they, uh, I don't know if the butterflies are hiding or if management gathered them up and uh, temporarily moved them somewhere to protect them from the crowds because you know for every every 50 to 100 people that gives a crap there's got to be one who's got to be a butthole and squish a bug just for the lulls. So, our butterfly garden is lacking in butterflies today. Last time I was around here, they actually had some dead ones pinned. That was even less impressive. Oh, real quick. Check out the Pizza Hut. There you go. A Pizza Hut and a flower park. I have not eaten at this one. Probably won't today. But it's just something to see, something to point out. All right, getting us back on the path we were on before the Pizza Hut Bunny Trail in the Butterfly Garden. Um, you'll see a lot of people dressed up in what they call Han Fu or Han Dynasty clothing or maybe uh, Tang Fu, Tang Dynasty clothing I'm going around taking pictures it's a reasonably common hobby When I was 
studying at a C, at Sios University in Xinjiang. They actually had a Hanfu club. It was fairly popular. I had friends involved in that. No, oh, how is it? Ooh. All right, this is significantly less pretty than I was anticipating. Didn't know they were doing construction up here. I know from time to time they like to tune up the parks, but... This is big. I'll skip through this part, but yeah, this is not normal. Uh, I've never seen construction anywhere near the scale in a park since I've been in Luoyang. Bad timing for this too, big tourist rush. Anyway, all right, we've reached the end of the construction. Lots of people today. That woman on the right looked like she was wearing some kind of like take on some kind of take on Xinjiang clothing. They got these little uh, these little uh, trams or whatever to. Uh, help take people around in case you don't feel like walking. Thing is, I do feel like walking. Over there is the northern edge of the park. Oh, I see another fence. Yeah. Over there is the uh, northern edge of the National Flower Garden. You cross that somehow. You get down on the other side. You'll be right there by the Lua River. And again, this park's about two and a half kilometers long. It's only about 100 to 250 meters wide. This looks fun. Anyway, yeah, if we found a path that went, uh, if we found a path that went straight through, we could easily cross to the other side of the park in a couple of minutes. Depending on where in the park you are, of course. Ah, we got Jadul Ball has a promo going on. It's a tea drink, lots of sugar. It's kind of stereotyped as like a middle-aged person drink, but it's actually not too bad. American Southerners might like it, considering our adoration for sweet tea. This is an actual brand of it, more or less. Not quite the same flavor. Yeah, people north of the Ohio River and the Mason Dixon line like like to make fun of us Southerners for our love of sweet tea. But you know what? If the country that invented 
that invented tea can have sweet tea, so can we. Don't want to block your picture. Oh, Lisa. <laughs> measure, measure. <laughs> yeah, right, pick up the pace here. I can guarantee you, at some point, probably within, within the next year, my kid's gonna be dressed up in, gonna be dressing up in Hanfu as well. Want her to embrace both sides of her culture. All right, so we're not going to go through that fence, but we're gonna climb up real quick so you can see the river. Oh wait, no, there's like some kind of a trail up here. Okay, well the river's on the other side of that hedge. Um, all right, I'm gonna cut it here because I'm very nervous going downstairs while carrying stuff. I completely forgotten about those walking paths. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've been here. All right, so like I said, um, this park's got quite a few other plants that look lovely when not in peony season. We'll see more flowers soon, more peonies soon. Might have to sneak into this inner area. You know what? I think I'll do that. Just a wee bit too crowded. In some some respects. Do a little circle around this. That's pretty. Here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna try to stay further on the, I'm gonna try to stay on the northern side, but not take the super big main path along the edge, cause we've got tons of crowds. I want you to appreciate the park here. Been here a few times outside of April. And if you if you hate crowds, April and October are the worst times to come. Get playing on the rocks here. Parking their mopeds here. Pretty 
pretty sure there are better places to park. A little path through a bamboo forest. My daughter would like walking through that. She loves bamboo. Okay, there is a big main path. We got a bunch of people going that way, so I'll, I'll stick kind of to the right. We got KFC. <laughs> really pricey though. For a moment, I thought I saw a former student of mine from my university job. All right, so big main path over that way. Okay, we're starting to see some more peony bushes. They said, boy, he's a... <laughs> a lot of photos being taken. So, just because some of these bushes aren't blooming now doesn't mean they won't bloom. Um, some of them already bloomed in the early part of the month. Uh, some of them will bloom later in the month. Yeah, this is much more pleasant than that main road. There's some white peonies. There's one variety that they call a black peony or dark peony. And it's like a super dark shade of purple. Now I go over this way. I feel like I was drifting more towards the south. I wanted to take us on that circuitous route. I uh, got some people dressed up and taking photos. Normally, I'd, my mom would walk through here, but I don't want to disturb them. Now, that's interesting. Oh, I guess the sprinkler's just malfunctioning. Brave kid. Okay, we're back on the main road. We'll stick to here until we find something else interesting. Really? They were just walking up there.
There's a path this way. Uh, it annoys me when people see a fence and then proceed to completely ignore it. Nice little sitting area. Little gazebo. I need to look up the Chinese word for gazebo. Okay. Let's go look at the map. Okay, so, um, apparently, we're that black spot. So we've already made it most of the way through the park. We got gardens. I remember there was a really pretty lake around this area somewhere. Let's see, these have bloomed already. <laughs> Let's get off the main path. People are selling or renting clothing out. It's amazing how few people are willing to get off the beaten path. Oh, this is nice. All right, let's, uh, Ooh, we got a fork in the road. Oh, hey, that structure goes even further back. Cool. Um, we'll just go this way. Or, nah, you know what? Let's take the little hidden path here. Let's be adventurous. I remember. People getting ready for photographs. I remember hearing a legend about the peony flower a while back, several years ago. Um, as the story goes, uh, Wood the Tien was going around um, on kind of a power high and uh, taking satisfaction to the fact she was the Empress. And she decided to uh, test her authority, her heaven given authority, by commanding flowers to open. And the vast majority did open at her command. And the peony would not. And according to the version I heard, she 
got angry at the fact the uh, P and E would not submit, and ordered all the ones in the area uprooted and destroyed. Uh, the P and E, of course, lasted. All right, now these have not bloomed, but they're going to. So in another few days or a week, this spot's gonna look gorgeous. Oh, oh, how is it? <laughs> It's gonna look real nice very very soon um, but anyway the peony has a reputation for uh, doing its thing and not bending to the whim of anybody all right so we got okay there's the main path again We went much further out of the way than I thought we would. Uh, let's see, where'd it go? Looks like a big greenhouse, which is understandable since this is a garden center. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoa! Are people actually allowed to enter sometimes? That'd be cool. Not gonna try though. Okay. This is nice. Getting kind of a higher view of things. I'm going to go this way, though. There's the main path. The main northern path. That tower there is a big communications tower. One of those prominent landmarks in southern Shigong district. Great way for uh, finding a direction. Hey! There's the lake. Can explore this lake real quick. If you're in Luolong district and you need to find north, look for that tower. All right, now this place, hey, look at those geese. This place looks kind of ratty now, but just wait till summertime when the lotuses are in bloom and then it's gonna look fantastic. Uh, anyway, we'll take a little circuit around this lake. Flowers growing here. Got a sneeze coming. Hey! Hey. 
I don't have any allergies that I know of, but with this wind, I've had several bits of flowers and other plant matter get blown in my face. Oh no, this is a shame. They got trash bins like every 50 meters around here and yet some people get, can't get a handle on their own trash. That sucks. Need to get the groundskeepers over here stat. Something has been here for a while. Nice little flower there. I like that flower. That's a pretty flower. Hey, back to back to one X. Well, there. Again, this is going to look so much better in summertime. You want peonies coming the spring, you want lotuses coming the summer. Ah, oh, boys. <laughs> Honestly, well, this is pretty. If any people from Loyang see this video, can we like petition to get some railings put up? Ooh. Fishy. Mm -hmm. Was that koi in there? I got some good sized fish. Got a swan over there. <coughs> a lot of swans and ducks over that way and geese. I'm five feet eleven. I'm not gonna squat to get under that. Fun for the kids, though. No fishing. Neat looking mist effect over there. On the way up here, we passed some stands that were selling cakes and cookies and stuff made with bits of peony. <laughs> China's really good. at making food with bits of flour, like, like F-L-O-W-E-R and not like the stuff you typically make bread out of. <coughs> and especially this time of year, anything that could possibly ever be made out of a peony will be made. A lot of really niche specialty goods.
Here we go. Let's get off the beaten path. I remember um, some people from uh, the Loyang Tourism Board um, got some of my colleagues and me to uh, do kind of a promo film and one thing we had to do was just walk around uh, this very spot checking out the peonies. This is one of the more famous areas of the park. Partly because of the buildings, partly just the general aesthetic. They got a bunch of really good blooms here. We'll circle around. We should almost be at the far side now. Ooh. Time to get off the beaten path again. Got some evergreen trees. There are cones newly forming. This is a young one. <coughs> we got some of those right near my apartment. Oh, I need to stop somewhere and get some water or something. I'm getting thirsty and stuff keeps getting stuck in my throat. Plant matter blowing around. I think I see the Mudan Bridge entrance coming up through the trees. Nice little sitting area here. I think I'm going to get some water at this spot here. There's a path. Yep. I'll stop it here for a moment. I need water. All right. I also got a popsicle. By the way, ice cream made to look like a peony. Over the price is like 17, 18 RMB. Real expensive. It's paying more for the craftsmanship. I had a, I had a popsicle one time. 
made to look like some famous Loya building <coughs> last year. <coughs> and I used to be pretty mad, but it looked cool. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Anyway, I want to get in some of the Juggle Ball tea. It's more of an herbal tea, I should clarify. But it's got about as much sugar as a soda. <clears throat> yep, we have pretty much reached the other end of the park. <clears throat> And you see over the gate they got a lovely peony motif. Very fitting. Considering that we're at the park known for peonies and this here is off to the right, crossing the river is the Peony Bridge, Mu Denxiao. And you can see me zoom. You can see like smaller peonies adorning those uh stands up there, the light stands. Hang on, I zoom back. One X. Okay. There's the gate. Now, of course, we got a lot of people entering on that side, too. So I'm not going to go all the way up there. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I could. I'll just show you up to the gate, then we'll come back down. Kids having fun. <laughs> All right. Here's a crowd from the other side. And there's the Peony Bridge. You can't see it too well because of the awning and the trees, but... The area both north and south of the river bordering that bridge. It's quite nice. I love driving on it on our moped. Got some roses up in here. <sighs> they always have some really cool flower related sculpture or not sculpture. The, some kind of really cool art piece. At just past the entrance, this entrance of this park. I've always enjoyed seeing them when I come in on this side.
Hua Kai Sister Dai, Luoyang Zheng Qingchun. All right, so we haven't even seen half the park yet, really. Um, real quick, got pastries, tea. Um, got some more traditional stuff in other places. <coughs> All right, we'll head back this way. Now over here is the southernmost path. And we'll go by there from time to time. Because I'd like you to see the view from, or the view of the road that passes by. feeling the back of my neck may or may not be slightly sunburned. Check where we are here. Okay, so this is kind of zoomed in. We're in that little white spot there in the middle. Um, yeah, we'll uh, let's take this path and hang a right. These have bloomed already. <clears throat> so this probably looked absolutely freaking gorgeous a week ago. This way. All right, we got some of the purple varieties. <clears throat> I've always loved the parks and gardens here in Luoyang. Um, on the old iteration of the channel, I had a video of Xi Yuan Park, which is in Jianxi District, and I re-uploaded that onto this version of the channel under my archives playlist. I suggest you check that out, too. Oh, we've reached the, uh, southern wall. Let's go on over here. Walk by the wall here. Oh, these are pretty. <clears throat> these are a bit older. There's some new ones there in the mid middle. Let's wait for these uh, drivers to pass.
back when I lived at the Loyang Normal University old campus in the Anlun neighborhood. From time to time, I would walk my beagle, Piper, along this road next to this fence on the, on the sidewalk over on the other side. And she enjoyed it because, like she and I both enjoyed it because we could smell the plants coming from inside here. It was nice. Can't walk or hear much now. I'm hardly ever in this part of town. My school's on like the far southwest corner of this district. <clears throat> Loyal is a good place to live. Let's go more towards the center. Anyway, yeah, Loyang. Second most affluent city in Hunan province. And I know fans of the top tier cities like Beijing and Shanghai will say, oh, those are totally better. And yeah, you could earn a bigger income there and you do have access to more stuff from around the world, but... Um... In terms of quality of life, this place here is not bad. <laughs> Cost of living is good. Life's a bit more relaxing than in Beijing. Not nearly as many people as the super big cities. We saw those places earlier. Although, we should at least see the uh, other side of that peony area. But yeah, it's been good. I do miss Kentucky though. I'm hoping to be back in Kentucky for a visit either this summer or next winter. Gotta get my kid home to see the grandparents. So we're about here, that reddish dot. We'll stick more to the right center. Let's see. I can see the wall there. I'm going to go this way. Wait for them to take the picture. Oh, <laughs> for those who aren't familiar, um, Buhawisa, if you literally translate, means not good meaning, but it's got a lot of uses. Like, excuse me, pardon me, I'm sorry. <laughs> kind of like perdoname or con permiso in Spanish. Both those uses could apply. Or like sumimasen in Japanese. Ah, here we go. This. This is something that we need to see. Very much dedicated exclusive, almost exclusively to PNEs here.
Pavilion, not gazebo. <laughs> These are huge. These are bigger than half those balloons are bigger than both my hands put together. Huge blooms here. Let's go over to this building here. Or, yeah. Okay, so technically this is not supposed to be a path, but some people walk on the grass, you can't tell. Alright. probably seen a few of these but there are signs indicating what kind of peony is planted they've got dozens and dozens of different varieties of peony here Let's get into the extra touristy spot so you can actually see some of the stuff being sold here. You saw some on the way in. Fans, many of which are hand painted. A lot of uh, these parasols, also have hand painted peony stuff. Can you go? So, this is like a kind of bread with chopped up peony petals in it. You got some kind of, uh, um, I don't want to say nougat, I don't want to say uh, cake, it's something different. But uh, this thing, um, yeah, it's like imagine a flaky moon cake almost, but instead of the typical thick filling you got uh, treated peony petals. Pretty good. Nice light floral taste. Lightly sweet. Pretty good. Thank goodness for free samples.
A lot of stuff here. Xianhua being fresh flour, fresh flour, baker's fresh flour bread. Mu Dan Su. It's like a, almost a cookie made of peony. Oh, it's now we got a big peony pavilion here. I won't step into that crowd. Oh, really? Get out of the enclosure. Uh, a really good place to get stuff like this year round. Goods like this year round is in the Old Town District, the uh, Lijing Man, the Lijing Gate. And they got tons of little shops that sell other things with hand painted peony and other cool stuff. All right, um. All right, let's get let's get out of here. We're gonna see more of the same. Let's go back to the center. Ooh, hang on. This is what they call that dark peony. Not more up this way. <laughs> yeah, up there. Okay. Um, I had to go get a good picture for the thumbnail but yeah um been through those pavilions growing all the flowers will head this way a bit mm, more more Hanfu. With the weather being so nice, we're definitely going to be bringing my daughter out to these different parks. She loves it outside. She'd love this place. Health walls there. Let's go through here.
Is there a path down that way? Yeah, he's a pass. Yellow, let's go this way. I see stone in an orderly fashion on the ground. I'm going to assume it is placed there for some kind of transversal. Traversal, sorry. I didn't get enough sleep last night. Ow! And I didn't duck enough right there. I won't film them because that would be rude, but there were some old dudes taking a nap on the left as we passed. Oh, I'm getting photos. Let's wait for it out two moment. Go this way. No. Oh. South Wall's that way. Stay in roughly the right middle. Try to stay that kind of course. I don't want to rehash things we've been through before. Uh, hmm. Hmm. They put a rope fence over the path. Interesting. All right. Here. I'm gonna try to stay our course. This is definitely one of my longer videos. Although most of the segments are giant chunks, I've been talking with you in English and the bulk of my Chinese has been Bohaisa while passing people, so that's much less time used for adding subtitles and other stuff, so editing won't take too long, I think. <laughs> oh, I think this is the main road again. Or the main south road. We'll go back this way. I saw some arches.
I'll get just some scenic little area to hang out in. Kind of neat looking. Hmm. We'll go this way. Uh, the campus at my current job has trees very similar to these. I've always thought they were interesting. Uh, let's try this away. Most of these have already bloomed. Oh, oh, he's up. <laughs> Got some groundskeepers working on some stuff. I feel like I'm right about in the middle of the park right now, so I won't go that way. Though that would be fun to go. Fun path to go on. Something or other up here. Oh, this is the uh, KFC. We took a tiny detour on to check out the menu. The menu's on the other side. This is the expensive one. Which means somewhere over that way should be the butterfly garden. Alright, we have a barrier bamboo. Let's go this way. We'll just go around the KFC. Yeah, there's that menu again.
like right here so that we can still be somewhat toward the south end. Something about a blue bag. Here's the south wall. Oh dear. that construction how far does this extend that's a big question isn't it building up here. I'm gonna put my hat on backwards. Get a little more protection for my neck. I'm about 90% certain that my neck is sunburned. Okay, yeah, so this extends all the way to the south wall then. on in the ship. Got some cool pictures and stuff here. Oh, this is the uh, the man-made lake in front of the Transition Shopping Mall. Definitely a picturesque area. What's our, what are our options with regard to uh, traversing this? No, nope, we got to go this way. Oh, 
Okay, we're back on the north side of the park. Main path in the north, near the river. Okay, so now we're rehashing old stuff. Cute little baby. It was winter when my daughter was that big. We couldn't really take her out. But her first spring, she was taking notice of flowers really quick. All right, I'll go back for the construction. All right, past the construction again. That's a good path I can take. Yeah, on the southern part of this end of the park. Oh boy, that branch did not bend. That was awkward. I need to get a charger. There's that Pizza Hut, which we've seen before. We're gonna go this way. So we can catch the last little bit that we haven't seen yet. Okay. Got some free stuff in through here. There's the southern fence. And again, this part of the park is narrower than the western end. This side's only about more or less 100 meters wide, 150 meters wide. Ladies resting after a photo session. Not much left to see. We should be getting somewhat near the eastern entrance by Loman Dadel. Let's go through here. Ooh. 
pretty. Now that's more of a gazebo. Roll initiative. Hey. Oh, <laughs> Let's go this way. I won't disturb them. Before coming here, <clears throat> took my dog to her usual groomer for a bath. Came up here. She's almost certainly done by now. But before I pick her up, I'm getting Starbucks after I'm done with this. <laughs> Seriously, I'm tired. I need something cold. Huh? Oh, I do love parks in this city. <laughs> Some for TikTok, I'm guessing. taking pics. Oh, how close are we? Yeah, we're just about there. Right around here. Camera's off, sorry. Right around here. We're right about at the entrance. Anyway, yeah, if you ever make your way to Loyang, this is definitely a place to see. I used to pass this place all the time when I lived in the area. Soldiers are acting awfully professional for a park. And here we go. Back to the front gate.
We made our way all the way around the park. I'm tired. I needed the exercise. And slowly losing weight and I need to lose more. Hopefully this helps. Alright, it's about to get hectic. I will uh, cut it off after I get out of the gate. Alright, I mean, I'll cut it off and I'll turn it back on after I get out of the gate. Alright, well, if you stuck with me for this long, because that is a long one. Thanks a bunch. Uh, this is a fun walk for me. I hope it was a nice watch for you. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Ha if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, don't forget, click on the link tree. Follow me on, on Facebook, Twitter, Mastodon, Instagram, co-host, and Hive. Uh, found out on a sign coming out, this was the 40th such Mudan Peony Festival. Uh, the 40th Loyal and Peony Festival. So, kind of a milestone year for him. I'm Daniel, the Cross Cultural Nerd. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.